Okay, I'm gonna do a video on the differences between the newer and the older style um, E30 fuel tanks and the reasons behind fuel starvation that people are having with these tanks. So this is my older model fuel tank. This one is a 14 and a half gallon tank. You can see the primary differences on this tank and the newer tank is that this one has two different levels at the bottom and a crossover tube there at the bottom and that crossover tube is one of the reasons people get fuel starvation because that tube right there can get clogged up um, and then the fuel can't get from this side of the tank to that side of the tank because the only way for tank for fuel in this tank to get from one side to the other is through that crossover tube in this tube in this tank you're gonna have a single low pressure fuel pump I don't have it in right now because I've got it sealing the other tank but it sits right in here and when you look in the tank your tank should look like that there's a little bit of dirt in there from me moving around the yard but you don't see any rust inside the tank and that rust is one of the things that will clog up your filter at the bottom see how that's all nice and clean it's just a little dirt in there from uh, being out in the yard but I'm not gonna be using this tank anymore so I'm not worried about it we never had fuel starvation with this tank um, the early model tanks people say get fuel starvation as well as the older the only reason I'm changing this setup out is because it's a 14 and a half gallon tank, which for us in endurance racing lets our team go anywhere between an hour and 30 minutes and an hour and 45 minutes, depending on the track. And so we just weren't able to go the full two hours and that puts us at a disadvantage. We've had a bunch of top 10 finishes, but we're normally f stopping one more time than the other teams for extra fuel. And uh, that costs us like three laps, which is the difference between a podium and being a top 10 team. So anyways, this tank actually was in really good shape. Um, we didn't have any issues with it. The way that it works is you got over here, um, this is gonna connect to your return from the engine to um, vent the exhaust gas from up front. You don't need this. Uh, you can take this line out, which goes to the, the car, which I've done, I've taken that off, and that leads up to the charcoal canister. All you do is cap off the line coming uh, out of the sensor by the valve cover and remove the charcoal canister and then you cap it off here in the uh, rear uh, passenger well and I'll show you that. So this newer model, I mean the older model tank, the primary reason you're gonna get fuel starvation is just dirt down in your tank. Uh, so pull your fuel pump and look for a bunch of rust. If you see a bunch of rust, you're gonna have to pull the fuel pump out, take a look at the bottom of the um, filter and you'll probably see that it's clogged. And then, this crossover pipe right here clogging. If this is clean and your fuel pumps are in good shape, you should not get fuel cut off um, coming out of any turns in this until you've been out on track for at least an hour and a half or so. Uh, this tank, we normally run it down, it's 14 and a half gallons, we normally run it down until there's about a gallon and a half or two gallons left in it, and that's when it'll start to come out, uh, cut out coming out of turns from the fuel sloshing around inside the tank, but we haven't had any issues with it before there, like at a half tank, like a lot of other teams say they have. So we're going to the um, newer model tank. This one is 87 and up 325 eyes. You can see here on the bottom, there's no crossover tube and you can see there how it goes all the way down. So this extra depth right here is the difference. And that gives you an extra two gallons in this tank. Now the way this tank works is instead of having one low pressure pump coming out to a high pressure pump that's external like you have on the older model tanks. In this one, you get um, a single high pressure pump in tank. Now these are not those pumps. These are just things that I have uh, to plug the tank right now for fuel vapor. So normally what you'd have is you would have a single high pressure pump and on the other side, you just have a fuel level sender, okay? 